Alright, what's going on YouTube? We're back with another episode on that uh, RPG series that hasn't been around uh, for a while, um, at least compared uh, to other content, because, well, uh, or any content hasn't been around in a while, because, uh, uh, well, excuses, excuses, Skyrim Special Edition, school, blah, 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 but also, if you... Um, heard uh the last episode which wasn't di which didn't actually take place in the real project um that the the real youtube pro uh, the youtube rpg project uh got corrupted now this scared the pants off of me and i was very afraid that everything got corrupted well when trying to recover all the files uh duplicate the my tester world my tester project uh this one where I where I um, test everything on first so that way I just know that everything works right and I know what I'm talking about um, I just duplicated that and called it RPG new and when I co copied all the content over it opened it up just fine it just seemed that the only issue was uh, is that the the world was corrupted um, and I unreal engine has a fail safe where it's supposed to just uh, default if the world is corrupted uh it's supposed to just default to a um untitled uh unsaved world just make a new one and apparently it wasn't but that's fine we didn't lose anything and we're back so um uh pretty much what i did is um i just cleaned cleaned up the ai to where i have him yeah uh, if you remember in the ai episode um i just made it so that way we uh or he has the um um acceptable distance of 150 as well so that way he's not all up in our grill whenever uh he follows us and i fixed the blend space which i'll show that real quick um so that way his movement's proper and it's he's not running slow because we want him to we don't want him to be faster than us obviously um and so what i just did is um and so, so, oh, sorry. Let me explain this. We don't want him to be faster than us necessarily, and since uh, his movement speed is 300, because ours is around like 270 something, it's very specific. Um, uh, that that's his maximum movement speed. Well, I had uh, on speed on on our run running animation. I had this from zero to 600. Set that to 300. Uh, apply parameter changes, and you'll be fine. Um, and you won't have to do anything. But this is an episode uh, of fixing something that's really bugged me for a long time and uh, will make the first-person experience much better because I do plan on doing a first-person episode. I'll probably do it immediately after this episode. But we're fixing this weird head, head movement that we get when we attack. Um, now... Um, it's only uh, obviously when, uh, or sorry, it's not when we attack like this. This looks fine. This is the normal animation. There is no weird head mov movement here. But if you notice, uh, uh, compared in relativity to where the body is and the neck is on the um, guy, um, his move, his head is actually moving from side to side. So when we uh, walk while attacking, he gets this constant movement of his head from side to side and it's actually very irritating so how we're we going to fix this um, it's actually pretty easily and uh, I'm going to show it by just changing some uh, blend blend values in our uh, animation graph so let's head over to uh, player stuff anims and RPG bro anims uh, go out to your locomotion and go to your walking uh, underscore attack thing. Um, and let's see. Uh, what we need to do is we actually need to duplicate this. So control W, if that doesn't work, which it didn't work for me for some reason on my test project, it's fine. Just hover over it and control C. If so for some reason that's really not working, just right click and copy then right click down here and then just type paste paste here um, anyways so we we'll want to add a pin and connect it here uh, we're gonna make this 50 we're gonna make this 50 and uh, we're gonna cl click on the layered blend per uh, bone 
uh, yeah, layered blend per bone node. And we're going to expand the layer. And then we're going to expand one and add a branch filter. Since we just made uh, blend poses one, uh, one showed up. Obviously, if we make another one, uh, two will show up and so on and so forth. But we only need, we only need three here. So, um, on the uh, branch filter, uh, obviously you should have made that, and uh, and now it'll automatically, it should automatically expand this. I tried to right click to drag on this menu, and it actually works instead of scrolling. Like you drag here, is this actually works? Huh? That's actually good to know. I might use that more often. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna want to use the neck bone because obviously that's the bone that's moving around a lot whenever we attack. If you look, um, that's the one that's kind of going. It's it's a combination of the neck and the head, but it doesn't really matter. Um, you could do this for neck and the head. You could actually add two and do head as well. Um, but we're just going to make this, it looks like 200. 200 on both of those. Let's see if the head thing works. If it doesn't, obviously, I can just delete it. Um, attack. Yeah. Now it's now it's pretty straight. It's it's there's a little bit of movement, which I'm sure there would just be in anyways if you're kind of swinging a sword while you're walking. So it's not drastic, and it looks pretty good. And I'm sure in first person, it'll look pretty great, and just add it so that way it's not just like him just walking forward very blandly. I mean. To be honest, the normal walking motion still has a little bounce to it, so this will keep the bounce, and it'll you know it'll be nice. It'll be a nice bit of a flavor and make it um, hopefully much more authentic. Obviously, we're not going for we're not making an RPG or like a real life medieval battle simulator here. We're just trying to make it look good. So hopefully, this works for you. If you have any issues, comment it down in the comment section and. If you liked, you could like, and if you want to see more content like this, you could subscribe. But uh, anyways, if you uh, want to check out the next episode, which will be um, uh, hopefully, um, sorry, if you want to check out the next episode, which will hopefully be uh, putting a first-person camera on this guy, you can subscribe so that way you get that, and you can go check out the RPG playlist down in the description. But anyways, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.